we're going to take a look at number 18 and 19. It says the cost of renting a moving van for a 26-mile trip is $62.50. The cost of renting the same van for a 38-mile trip is $65.50. The cost change at a constant rate with respect to the length of miles of the trip is an 18 ask us write an equation that the total cost of renting the van is a function of the number of miles in the trip is. So what do I notice about this? I've underlined four things. A mile and amount, a mile and amount. So it means I have two ordered pairs. So I have 26 and $62.50. And I have 38 and 65.50. So I first had to do rise over run to find my slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to plug in my numbers, and I get 65.50 minus 62.50 over 38 minus 26. So when I subtract these, I get 3 over 12, and that reduces to 1 fourth. So my slope is one fourth. So if I know my slope is one fourth, and I have two ordered pairs, I only have to take one. So I'm going to take 26 and 6250. I can start creating a line. So I'm going to plug in. I'm going to have my y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to plug in my x, y, and m. So my y is 62.50 equals 1 fourth times 26 plus b. So I'm going to get 62.50 equals, and this will reduce to 13 over 2 plus b. And I'm going to subtract 13 over 2 from each side. Which gives me 56 for B. And now I can create my new line of Y equals 1 fourth X plus 56. So that is my equation. Then it says, find the total cost of renting the van for 54 miles. So I know my X stands for miles. So I'm going to plug that in. So I'm going to have 1 fourth times 54 plus 56. And I'm going to reduce this. By 2, and I get... Two on the bottom here, and I get 27 here. So then I get y equals 27 over 2 plus 56. And I'm going to combine those. So I'm going to convert the fraction to a decimal, and I get y equals 1350 plus 56. So then I'm going to add those and I get 69.50. So 19, the total cost of renting van for 50 for a mile trip would be $69.50.